Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Well today ladies and gentlemen, I have a really cool video for you because we're going to show you exactly how you can create the stealth armor using rune words. We're going to show you where you can form these rune words and explain how rune words work. So if you're a new Diablo player, well, you're in luck. This is the video for you. So if at any even time you found this video helpful or just, just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially on YouTube because it helps these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to give back more and I can do more giveaways. So thanks for watching everybody. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Stealth Rune Ward Armor. Now, the Stealth Rune Ward Armor is pretty good. It comes with 25% extra fast run wall, faster cash rate, and faster hit recovery. Plus 6 to dexterity, regenerate mana by 15%, plus 15 maximum stamina, and poison resist 30%, and magic damage reduced by 3 and 2 sockets. Of course, we're going to be using these sockets. Now, first thing first, when it comes to rune words, you're going to need the correct armor and our weapon, and you're going to need the runes and place them in the correct order. If you don't do that, everything's gonna be messed up. Trust me, it's not gonna work. So this is the way room works. Number one, you need your armor or weapon and have the correct amount of sockets for that armor. And then the room must be placed in the correct order or it won't work. Now, what I'm doing is I am looking for a chest and not just any chest, we need a socketed chest. Two of them because we're going to need two room words for us to create this stealth armor. So just head in and out of your encampment and it will basically reset the vendors. We're going to head over here to Gahi and thankfully he has a two socketed chest piece. Perfect. So we're going to be using this to create ourselves a stealth armor. So go ahead and grab that. Now, where we're going to be forming these rune words is at the Forgotten Tower and the Countess. She can be located in the Black Marsh in Act 1, right here. So, if you are a new player, like I am, and I'm learning as I go along, you can head there from the Rogue Encampment to the Cold Plains, Stonyfield, Darkwood, and then you'll end up in the Black Marsh in Act 1 in the Forgotten Tower where you can form the Countess. Now, the cool thing about the Countess is she's going to drop two rune words each time. She's going to be located on the fifth level of the Forgotten Tower. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over here to the Countess and we're going to form her. We're going to need two specific rune words. And the best part about this is you can do this early, ladies and gentlemen. So all of your characters that you use can get this pretty much early on. We're going to be looking for the Tower Rune and the F Rune. Now, because the tile rune is level 17, you won't be able to equip this until you are level 17. There's a countess right there. Now, if she doesn't drop the runes just yet for you, well, we're going to start farming her. How we're going to farm is basically save and quit and come right back to her. Everything's going to reset. Now, remember, we're going to need two specific runes, the tile rune and the F rune, and they need to be placed in the exact order or your armor won't turn into the spirit. So first off, we plug into the towel into the first socket, and then we're gonna grab our F room and plug it into the second socket. And voila, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the stealth towel F armor. Now, remember, this can be used in any armor so long as you have the two socketeds and the correct runes and put them in the correct order, and bam, there you have it. Now you can easily keep this for yourself or give it to one of your other characters. Now, I hope this video truly has helped you out. And if you are a new player like me to Diablo, I have a whole lot more helpful videos coming soon. So once again, thank you everybody that has been supporting the channel and for all your love and support. And if you have any questions related to Diablo 2, go ahead and hit me up and ask away. I am learning quite a bit and I will have a whole lot more awesome videos for you. So once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.